Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a pig pipe, or the way I make a pig pipe. What I've got is here is a, about a three foot four inch piece of PVC. This is uh, four inch. Uh, and what I've done, and I need to kind of clean out the holes, is I've made four holes in it. About a quarter of the way around, all the way around. And this is for your corn to come out. Okay, so the next step after you have your piece of pipe is I'm going to go ahead and drill my cap. And this is just a four-inch cap. I'm going to put a, I'm going to drill right down the middle of it here, and I'm using a half-inch drill bit. I'm using a half-inch eye bolt. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get right here in the center of it. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my A bolt through. And then on the back side, I'm using a one and a half inch, quarter inch hole washer. You can kind of see what I got there. And then just a regular bolt. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. So the inside of it looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and Tighten this bolt up and screw up, mess up the threads so I don't have to worry about it coming loose. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get my pipe dope or pipe glue, and we're going to go ahead and glue this onto our other our piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and get me some some glue in here, get it nice and glued up, go ahead and put my can down, and then I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to my pipe. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of pressure back here on the ground behind, so I know it's in there good and tight. Okay, for the next process, you're going to need anywhere from a three to four inch, I'm using about a four foot piece of chain. This is just regular swing set chain. Uh, inexpensive yet tough. I think it's rated at 200 or so pounds. So what I'm going to do to connect this is just use a regular old screw on uh, quick link. I'm going to go ahead and connect my chain. As I say, just a regular old quick link. I'm going to connect my chain, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it through that eyelet, like that, tighten it up. So it should look like that, okay? For the other end, I just have a regular uh, clip like you see on a dog leash, it's rounded. And what I'm going to use for my pipe or my hold down is going to be rebar. Or not rebar, uh, conduit. It seems to be pretty sturdy. I can make the poles as long as I want. Yada, yada, yada. So all I need to do is find the other end of my chain and flip it on. So there you go. There's the all the way up to that part. Okay, now for the, so to use this product, or to use this, since you glued this side, of course you can't, since you glued this side, you can't put corn in there. So what I use is a four inch, this is a flange type fitting, and you just tighten it up, and it will make it tight. This is where I'll be able to put my corn, take my, put corn in and out of it. Uh, as I say, it stays pretty tight. Now, I, with the, your other option is, of course, buying, you know, the pipe that screws on. This is a little bit cheaper to do, and I think it's going to be a lot easier out in the field, because I can work, you know, if this gets so tight I can't do it with my hands, I can always have a pair of pliers or whatever. So, that's more or less the whole deal. Uh, just, uh, have you a pole and 
hook it up and you'll see how it works. So, as I say, this is my first time trying these, so we're going to give them a try here pretty soon. Uh, here in the next couple weeks, and hopefully we'll have some hog hunting videos for you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.